Hello! Today we'll continue where we left last week and we'll install Apache Web Server on the always free Ubuntu server we built on Oracle Cloud last week. Then we'll configure Apache Virtual Host to serve our own Hello World page over HTTP. Then we'll go get a valid SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt and configure Apache so all the requests for the Hello World page are redirected to HTTPS. And finally, we'll set up so that SSL certificate auto renew. There's only going to be a couple of Oracle specific steps, so this tutorial can be used even if your server is not on Oracle Cloud. If you don't have server yet, please watch the last week's video on how to build always free Ubuntu server on Oracle Cloud and how to reserve free static IP. Now to begin today, the first thing that you want to do is go to your domain reg register and create a DNS record so it points to your Oracle server or your whatever server you're using. So I already did that. I went here and for my techtutelage.net domain, I pointed a subdomain hello world to the IP that we reserved last week. The next thing you want to do is go in and SSH back into your instance. Once connected, we'll switch to root and then we're going to go ahead and install Apache. Once we have Apache installed, we will run this command to open port 80 on IP tables, followed by this command that will save the configuration so if our server restarts, port 80 is still opened. Now that we have port 80 open, there is one more step that we need to take in order to be able to access this server on port 80. And that's an Oracle specific thing. So you're going to have to go to your Oracle console and search for the word gateway. We're going to look for an internet gateway. In the internet gateway, we'll go down to security list. By default, the internet gateway only allows port 22 and ICMP requests from the internet. So we're going to want to come here and add a rule that will allow traffic from the internet to port 80. And we're going to call this HTTP. And since we're here, we may want to add one more rule that will allow traffic on port 443 for our HTTPS later. So I'm just going to do it now. All right, now that we have Port 80, port 443 on the internet gateway are open. And one more thing actually, let's while we are here, let's do this. We're gonna run this exact same command on 443 and save it again. And that way we have both firewalls, the IP tables here and the internet gateway that serves kind of like a firewall on both places we have 80 and 443 open. So now if we go to our browser and try to access hello world tech tutelage.net, we should get the Apache welcome page. The next step will be to create a virtual host that will point to our hello world page. So I'm gonna go back to my terminal and I'm gonna make a copy of Apache's default virtual host and we're going to make some changes into it. So we're going to do copy at the Apache 2 sites available and I will call it hello world.conf and I'm going to go into it with nano and here I'm gonna do some cleanup. So all the commented stuff I'm gonna delete. We're not gonna need any of that. All right, so we can leave the logs here. Uh, we don't need this one. So we're gonna add a couple. Actually for now, we're just gonna add one extra line here. We're gonna say server name and that will be Hello world dot net. Our document root will be I'll just call it hello world. Alright, and that's all we need for now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then I'm gonna have to create the document root. So, and I'm gonna create an index file in it. And in the index file, I'm gonna say, hello world. And I can go ahead and save it. And we can go ahead and restart Apache. And now if we refresh here, we should see our Hello World page instead of the Apache Welcome page. All right, now let's see what is wrong. Oh, I forgot to enable the virtual host. So to do that, we have to run A2 EN side, Hello World. And then we restart Apache one more time. And now if we go here, we should see our Hello World page. Now that we have our Hello World page serving up on port 80, we can go ahead and start working on getting that SSL certificate. So we're gonna go back to our terminal. And here, what we're gonna do is we will install a tool called CertBot. So I'm gonna run apt install CertBot. All right, now that we have CertBot installed, we're gonna to have to create a directory called well known in our document root. So we do make dir var dub 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 hello world well dash and make sure that you put the dot in for of well known because it has to be a hidden directory. So well known, okay. The next step would be to change the group to that directory so it's owned by our web server. Then we're gonna set group ID, and that way anything that gets created later in that hello world directory will inherit the group of the hello world directory. So, And the next command, we'll go ahead and request the SSL certificate for our hello world.tech.ledge.net subdomain. And here we're gonna give an email address. Agree, yes. And there you go, we successfully got our certificates. Now the next thing will be to go to our Apache virtual host file that we created earlier and add a directive for SSL. So what I'm gonna do here is to make it easier for me, I'm just gonna copy this part and paste it right under it. Then we're gonna change here for 443. Everything else could stay the same. We can add a few lines here. So one will be SSL engine on. And then we're gonna give it path to our certificates key and chain. So. Okay, and I'm gonna save the file and go and get the path. So what I usually do is, the easiest way for me to do is like this. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this path and go paste it back into the virtual host. So let's do this. And here we're gonna do cert pam prive E dot pam and chain dot pam. Again, save. And the next thing we want to do is enable SSL mode, A to EN mod SSL. And then we restart a batch. And now if we go back here and refresh, it's serving on port 80, HTTP, but if we change it to HTTPS, we get an error. So let's see what we did wrong. Oh, there it is. I have 442 instead of 443. 
fix this, save the file and restart Apache again. And now if we go to our browser and restart, we get our secure encryption here. You can click and take a look at your certificate and you have a valid certificate until March, so 90 days. So the next thing we want to do is, because the way it is right now, if somebody would go to our site on HTTP, it will serve HTTP. So we're going to make it so it redirects all the requests, even if they try to go to HTTP, they get sent to HTTPS. So to do that, we're going to go back to our configuration file. And in here, where the directives for HTTP are, we're going to add an extra line and we're going to say redirect permanent. And then we're going to point it to HTTPS. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it so I don't misspell it. Let me save it. Come here, refresh the page, and there you go. We got redirected. The last thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna set up our certificates for auto renewal. So to renew the certificates with certbot, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is run a command certbot and then renew. And it's going to check and it's, if there are certificates for renewal, it will go ahead and do the renewal for you. But because we still have plenty of time until our certificates due to renewal, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to skip it. So what you can do is you can create a cron job that runs like maybe a day or two before the expiration date that will go ahead and run this command for you and it will renew your certificates. So to do that, you can go to your cron tab. So cron tab dash E. And here we can add a line. So let's say we're gonna do it at zero minutes, eight o'clock. And we're gonna do this every, so the certificate expires every 90 days. So let's say every 88 days at eight o'clock and zero minutes, we will run the search bot renew command. So, and we'll give the full path to uh, the search bot just in case. It's a good practice to give a full path. So, usr slash bin search bot renew. And this is all you should have to do. Now, every 88 days, this command should run and renew your certificates. I think that's it for now. You have your web server that it's running HTTPS, it's forcing everything through HTTPS, it's serving your hello world page. So if you want, you can put your own code up there and it will be served and it's always free server. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please click on the like button. And um, if you wanna see more of my videos, please check out my channel and please subscribe.